Welcome to Elimination Chamber 5. So here we go. We got a steamboat, Bret Hart, Ginger Mahal, Robert Roode, Bob Backlin, Dolph Ziggler. Kind of a, a random throw them together uh, chamber here. This is uh, doing this one. Last one was um, uh, five minute intervals. This, this is 30 second interval. So this move along a little quicker, this one. So here we go. Brett and uh, Ginger Mahal starting out. And then um, also uh, the random, random entry. So the, I don't know who's coming next. But they'll they'll be uh, faster than uh, the la than the elimination chamber. Uh, what did I say? This is five. The elimination chamber four. So I mix them. Yeah, some I'll do five minutes. Some I'll do thirty seconds. Some I'll do two minutes. I'll just I'll mix it up, whatever I feel like doing. But these these are fun minutes. I wanted to, I wanted to start a series around the time of the chamber starting uh, with the I mean, the new with the the twenty twenty four chamber sort of uh, elimination chamber series. So here comes uh, Dolph Ziggler, who who uh, has has left WWE, but he, he's in. I guess he won't be in 2K24, but you can still use him in 2K23. Uh, yeah, they're, 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 this this ring is going to fill up quick. This is if you want to get all six in there, you put it on 30 seconds, you're guaranteed to get all six in there. Nobody, nobody's getting pinned that quick. Even at 100, you're probably going to get all in there. All right, you got a uh, Bob Backlund, former heavyweight champ. So you got yeah, so Ginger Hall was a champ too, and then and a uh, Bret Hart. And uh, yeah, I was I, yeah, I mean, kind of a mix of uh, legends and current stars and active active wrestlers and inactive wrestlers. It was next year. All right, so yeah, they're not a huge coming in last. When you set it to five minutes, uh, coming in last is a pretty big advantage. But when you set it to thirty seconds, there's not much of an advantage. Was, they're they're all in there so fast that it's like Steamboat's last here. He's he's not going to have a big advantage over uh, Jinder Mahal or who was in first because it, 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 he's already he's, he's already in there. Oh, we got a pin already. Yeah, this one. This is this is I set this up to be a bit shorter than my uh, last one. And uh, so we got the yeah, steamboats in there, and we're down to five. Even it was, it was got the guy eliminated. It's hard to get all six in there. Even then, I was wrong. I thought I thought it'd be uh, easier to get all six in there at the same time with 30 seconds. But you got to see. You gotta, it's it's how you set it. If you if you want all six in there, you you got to make sure that pin takes longer. It's all about this. Yeah, the, the most important slider in this game is the the. the Kick out recovery damage, uh, whatever it's called. It's, it's basically a pin slider. It's the most important slider in this game. Uh, it's pr probably the one I tweak the most often. Hopefully they'll. Uh, hopefully it's in 2K24 because I, I I like using it. And uh, so we got Backlin and Steamboat in the corner there. We got a uh, Jinder Mahal uh, like. Dazed in the corner, and it's, it's steamboat stayed. I I have the uh, stunned on maximum length because I feel that's the best way to play. So they they uh they wake up kind of like wake up too quick if you have it set uh, don't have it set on maximum. All right, Ginger Mahal got Bret Hart now. There's they were yeah they were yeah they were the first two in. So there, yeah, not that it was a much of a difference when you have 30 second intervals, but so I think uh, actually five minutes is pretty good, but uh, yeah, probably uh, two minute intervals or uh, or three minute or kind of in the middle there are, are are probably a little better. 30 seconds probably a little too quick, but I uh, wanted to have a quicker match, so. So it depends on w w what kind of match you're in the mood for at the, at the moment. If you want a little quicker match or a shorter match. All right, so we got it's a steamboat and uh, oh, we got uh, rude. Yeah, rude just steamboat just tap rude out. Okay, all right, down to four. So this match is going pretty quick. Now we got Bret Hart. Bret Hart's in a camel crutch. See if he taps, and he's oh wow, they're going quick now. 
I'm gonna get this kick out by Steamboat. It's going there. It's going too fast here. All right, down to a triple threat. We got Backlund, Steamboat, and Ginger Mahal left. And is Steamboat done? Yeah. All right. So it's Bob Backlund and Ginger Mahal. Backlund has a slight advantage. He was in, in there later, but oh, he's not gonna get him that fast, is he? No, he kicked out. All right. I'm glad he kicked out there. That would have been too fast. Backlund has a, he doesn't have much of an advantage. He came, he came in later, but they all came in so fast it doesn't matter. So I'm looking forward to SmackDown tonight to see what uh, fallout from the press conference should be fun. All right, Backlund. Backlund is did two actually two former champions here, but Bay Backlund uh, Backlund was champion for a long time. From I think yeah, I believe seventy yeah, it was seventy eight to eighty three. He beat superstar Billy Graham in seventy eight and held it till uh, he lost it to Iron Sheik in eighty three. So he was a champ for uh, I guess over five years. I forget, I forget which month he won the title in seventy eight, but he, he lost it in December eighty three. Oh, nice knee by uh, Jinder. See, so I would favor Backlund in this, but. Maybe Ginger will get the upset right here. We'll see. And nope, Backlund kicked out. And Backlund is a really good, really good wrestler. He he was uh, his his in his interviews were were back in um, late seventies, early eighties. His interviews were like he was like really calm and stuff like that. It wasn't wasn't a typical uh, Piper active interview where you're screaming and stuff. But he was he was uh, his style was interesting. And he, he just see a lot of grappling. He wasn't like uh, jumping off the top of the cage. Backlund. Well, the J Jimmy Snook actually jumped off the top of the cage on Backlund, and Backlund moved. They had a cage match in, I guess it was 82, I believe. Yeah. I think it was 82. Oh, that's it. Ginger Mahal was just one. Let's get the official decision.